back to water again. I was on this Diet Coke kick for a couple weeks and I've switched back to water. I do that. I go through months of water, 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 then Diet Coke, and then water, 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 water. So I figure I'm okay. I'm starting to think my nose is funky. Looks big on my face because of this. Anyway. Today I want to talk to you about your ideal weight. Which is not my ideal weight. Which is not Fred down the hall's ideal weight. Or Joe in the next building over or Susie down the street. It's not a competition. I've kind of seen it in some of the groups that I belong to since my gastric bypass. And I'm the thinnest one in the room. Because what happened with me was one in a billion. I was ready at the time. I don't think a doctor would have thought that I was ready, but I was. And I didn't know I was ready. I was sure I was going to fail. And because of that, I worked extra hard. Now they're finding that pessimists sometimes win in weight loss. I'm not talking about pessimism like I'm never going to lose weight, so I might as well eat five Twinkies. I'm talking pessimism like I can get on the spike, I'm going to work out, and nothing's going to happen. And then something happened. And I had starts and stops, you know, I have a friend Elizabeth who had a gastric bypass two, two, almost two years ago now, and she's at a, at a stall, and she doesn't like it, she's really upset about it, but she's going to break through that stall. She just has to eat less and exercise more because her body's become efficient, and your body should be efficient because muscle burns calories, fat does not. Your lungs should be efficient, your heart should be efficient. Cardio should be the mainstay of your exercise with stretching exercises like yoga, Pilates, um, although those can both be strength exercises, or just plain old stretching gently, never pulling too hard, especially your legs. You've got to burn shin splints. If you start walking too much or running too much too soon, you'll get shin splints. By the way, the cure for that is pull your toes. I'm not going to show you because this is in this is station here. You just pull your toes all the way as far as you can up towards your calves and release. It hurts like a bear, but you got micro tears between the bone and the muscle, and that's what that is because the muscle is building faster than the bone, and tendons can compensate for. Finding your ideal weight is so many things. It's got to be a series. It's not the BMI index. The BMI index is a tool, and we'll talk about that next week. But there's a lot wrong with the BMI index. There's a lot wrong with the insurance company's weight loss thing. It says I can be 104 pounds. If I was 104 pounds, people would be trying to stuff sandwiches down my throat. I mean, I really look horrible. Finding your weight is somewhere, it's a broader spectrum than what either one of the BMI index or the insurance weight index will allow you to be. An ideal weight is where you're comfortable, where you're feeling healthy and strong, where you feel you can accomplish the things in your life without too much stress, where you can get on an exercise bike or a pre-core or any kind of aerobic activity, even if you only use your upper body. and you can do it for 30 minutes without <gasps> <gasps> you've got to be able to talk and I know it's hard people want to get there fast and the thing with society is we want to just take a pill and have it all melt away and there is no pill out there um, now a lie ally will help you lose weight but if you don't follow your instructions you can have some very uncomfortable days in the restroom just saying it is not a magic pill. It is a tool. Gastric bypass is a tool. Diet is a tool. And a limiting diet... I read a study recently, you're supposed to eat the same thing for lunch every day. I, I would die. I stay within a calorie range and I include fruit, vegetables, and some sort of protein. And yeah, some days it's a protein bar. Five meals a day. 
you know, breakfast is light, snack light, lunch light, the other snack is light, and then I get to dinner time, and I had it with fighting it, and I want chocolate. I'm very proud of myself. My husband's at the store right now. He has to get me fruit. Good girl. One of the ways we're changing our diet in our household, because this isn't just you, how you eat, especially if you're eating separately from the family and different foods, is, is going to send the wrong picture to girls especially. Um, so what we've decided to do is once a week we're going to get together as a family, a family activity. And I always love looking for family activities. And we're going to make meals and freeze them. So I'll do stick them in the oven or the crock pot and we're done. And I'm, nobody has to cook anything when they're dead tired at the end of the day. So we have sticks set up, low fat dips out, because my kids love dips. Um, Stephen likes hummus, Jean likes ranch. Um, I make my own hummus from chickpeas that I reconstitute myself because I like whole grains in the summer. It's more expensive to go to the farmer's market, but I like supporting local independent farmers. To me, that is super important. Dying to go to Pennsylvania for Reading Terminal. I don't know what I'm going to do because I can't take all that stuff back to my to get to Ann Arbor. Um, hot dogs are out. Yogurt's in. We're switching to skim milk. I'm taking them down to 2% first. And at some point I'll get skim and start adding it. Because I use skim milk um, in, my, in my oatmeal, which I eat almost every day. I just like it. I don't like it fancy, I just like a little bit of brown sugar. And I mean a little bit. So the first thing you need to do to find your ideal weight is think about just keeping a mood journal. And um, fitday.com has a free one that other people can't see. They have a price you can pay for it or you can just use it the program online for free. And it'll keep track of your moods when you're overeating and what you ate that day. So you can start associating. I had a wheat sandwich, sandwich with wheat for lunch. And I felt like crap in the afternoon and I need an energy snack later. Maybe I should think about cutting out wheat because wheat, eggs, and dairy are the three most, and soy, four most common things to be allergic to. Um, my ideal weight is how you feel. If you're 190 pounds and you're 5 foot 2 and you have low blood pressure and you think you look really cute in size 16 clothes and people around you tell you how adorable you are, here's your ideal weight. Accept yourself. Watch your heart and stuff. But that's not ridiculous. It's not. I felt very good at 190 pounds. Um, the rest of the weight kind of came off. I did watch my calories a bit, but I wasn't anal about it. One of my friends thought I was, but I really cheated a lot. Um, but when I'm training for triathlon, I need buttloads of calories. And that's the other thing about ideal body weight. Is people sign up for a marathon or decide that they want to do a triathlon and they think the training is going to help them lose weight. But in that case, you're burning so many calories that your body is saying, you know, feed me Seymour, feed me all night long. And then your whole wheat carbohydrates are really good for you. Plain carbohydrates have got to be chucked. I know who loves white squishy bread. We all taught Wonder Bread growing up was the best. We all believed it was squishy and soft and you can make it into a ball. And it's just not healthy for you. And again, that's going to be another topic in a fitness Friday. So we're going to be doing less me showing you fitness things, although that's going to be in there. We're going to do an abs workout next week too, um, because I think it's really important to do a good abs workout and find where your abs are and explain the muscular structure down there. Um, and abs can be done in 10 minutes a day. And you don't need a machine to do it. I like that. So think about where you are where you want to be realistically 
right here. Five pound goals. Five pounds here, five there. And let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to talk about on this part of the 